After a lot of back and forth and even calling off the deal, Elon Musk has finally bought Twitter. He has completed his 44 billion US dollar acquisition. And as a first move, he has fired some top executives. Musk accused the leaders of misleading him over the number of spam accounts. He has terminated Twitter Chief Executive Parag Agarwal, Chief Financial Officer Ned Segal, and Legal Affairs and Policy Chief Ajaya Gare. Now, she took the top decision of banning Donald Trump from Twitter. Reports say that right after the signing, Agarwal and Segal were escorted out of Twitter headquarters. Musk and his team only had until midnight today to finalize the deal. Even before the official announcement, Musk had already declared his acquisition of the microblogging website. It was a heartfelt message for his Twitter advertisers. And I'm quoting here, The reason I acquired Twitter is because it is important to the future of civilization to have a common digital town square. He further goes on to say that he didn't buy Twitter to make more money, rather to try to help humanity. He also called for a warm and welcoming platform for all but not a quote-unquote free-for-all hellscape. Now, Musk reiterated that not everything will be allowed on the platform. Some content could face consequences. These latest comments are just an extension of what he has been saying all along. A special focus will be to defeat spam bots on the website. Musk wants to change many aspects of the social media platform. But how they will translate in real life remains to be seen. Just two days ago, the billionaire sent Twitterati's into a frenzy. He posted a video of himself walking into Twitter headquarters, carrying a sink. He captioned it, entering the Twitter headquarters, let that sink in. The theatrics didn't end there. Musk also changed his Twitter bio to read Chief Twit. If these weren't enough, he has now listed his location as the Twitter headquarters in San Francisco. The acquisition is a culmination of a remarkable saga. It was full of twists and turns, and at one point had even sent doubts over whether the deal would go through. It all began on the 14th of April, when Musk disclosed a 9.2% stake in the company, making him its largest shareholder. And now for more on this, we are being joined by Perennial Tramberg, who is an expert on data and AI ethics and a tech journalist from Copenhagen, Denmark. Thank you for being with us on this broadcast. Now, the Elon Musk era at Twitter has begun. What are we expecting? Any major changes? He has hinted at making Twitter a super app. Well, in many ways, it can probably only be better because for years, Twitter has been struggling to make a profit. And for years, actually, employees have not been satisfied, satisfied working there. So the starting point uh, is probably only going one way. It can actually only be better, especially if he says he's not doing this because he want to make a profit. The big question is going to be whether he can make it a nice place to be for the world's elite who is using Twitter. Will there be too many bots, too, 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 too much hate speech, or will he be able actually, actually to create a nice Ooh. place to be for us? Because it's, it's my favorite social media. Right. And Musk has said that uh, he, while he does reiterate that there is an importance for free speech. Not everything will be allowed on the platform and some content could face consequences. Do you have any details on how this will, will pan out? I have no idea, but he is a freedom of speech fundamentalist. So it's going to be very open, but I'm of sure that he will have a police who will take care of illegal content, of course, but I, I believe it will be much, much more open than it is today, and Trump will come back. Right, and, and Pernil, what about uh, advertising? We've heard Elon Musk in the past say that he hates advertising, but at the moment, this accounts for about 90% of the Twitter revenue. Yeah, if it makes it a, a place where we want to stay, uh, advertising will stay. But if it is going to be really a horrible place with a lot of hate speech, 
advertising will leave. So that's that's a big joker. But for now, this is probably going to be uh, the main income for Twitter in the future as well. Right, Pernil, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for being with us on this broadcast and all Thanks. your insights there. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.